Hello there heroes, I'm the Orange Ranger and welcome to a special comically long review video. I know at this point I owe you folks a couple of comic reviews, Radiant Black number 2 and Trials of Ultraman number 1. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know the reason for the delay. However, not all of you follow me on Twitter, so I owe you folks an explanation. The way I review comics is going to be changing. The impetus behind this change is Radiant Black, but I once again want to make clear that they are a positive force for change here. They haven't made any demands of me, just some requests that already lined up with things I was already feeling. Image Comics, via Radiant Black, is the very first comic publishing company to acknowledge my existence. When they heard that I would be reviewing the book, they provided me digital copies of Radiant Black 1 and 2 to use in reviews. Once again, the very first comic publishing company to do anything like that. When they did that, I still wanted to make sure that they were aware of how I review comic books, so I sent them one of my videos. Indeed, they weren't exactly thrilled with 100% plot recap reviews that show off all the pages when they're publishing a brand new book that really needs to start off with strong sales to survive. I was completely on board with that and was thinking about how to proceed when they surprised me by providing me a second digital copy of Radiant Black Number 1 with all of the dialogue balloons removed, giving me the go-ahead to do my style of review with those pages. Even then, I still decided to play along doing more of a plot overview and restricting myself to about 10 to 15 pages of that book. Fast forward one month. With Radiant Black number two set to hit the shelves, I contacted Image once again and asked them for the dialogue-free edition of Radiant Black number two to do a review on. They did provide it, but also made clear to me that this was not going to be an ongoing arrangement. It was a special edit that they were having to put together basically just for me. I know I'm not the only person reviewing the book on YouTube, but maybe I'm the only person that's asked permission? For the record, they have continued to try to work with me. They suggested that I could do my complete 100% plot recap style review using all of the pages of Radiant Black number one when the trade paperback comes out. That is going to be in August. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm willing to wait that long. Besides rereading the messages, the allowance really only seems to be that I could review Radiant Black number one that way, even after that much time. So I found myself torn. Forgive me, that's a brand new cutaway gag I downloaded for use in a Dino Fury review. I decided to get a little more use out of it. I tend to get very set in my ways. I taught myself the Linkara method of reviewing comic books on YouTube, and that's just become the way I think when I review a comic book, or really much of anything. But being honest, I've felt guilty about the way I review comics for a little while now. I fully realize that I basically take away all the incentive to buy the book at all if you watch my reviews of it. I tell you the entire plot, I show you all the pages, within a couple of days of the book's release. Linkara himself waits at least one year before reviewing a book, and that's why he feels fine showcasing the plot and all the pages, etc. So, are you folks going to have to wait an entire year to get my take on a book? Clearly not. I just said I'm not even going to wait five months to review Radiant Black. I really don't want to introduce any sort of a confrontational aspect into my relationship with any of these companies. This is especially important if any of the companies that publish books that I review are watching this video. I would like to maintain, or in some cases establish, healthy relationships with those companies. However, if it strictly comes down to it, my content is protected by fair use. Review is a specific type of content listed in United States copyright law underneath fair use protections. I have certain rights to use the pages within a comic book if I am reviewing that comic book. 
So, what is my compromise here? I'd like to thank my good friend Database Ranger for the suggestion. One month. I'm going to be pushing all of my comic reviews back to one month after the book's release. And if you think about it, this makes a lot of sense. That's when the next book is hitting the shelves and the company's focus is going to shift to the sales of that book. And actually, it can be useful for them to have a plot-heavy recap of the previous book out, helping people catch up on things to buy the next issue. But won't I lose views on my videos if the comic reviews aren't about fresh material? I think not! This is not nearly so much a big deal as you think it is. I have an extremely dedicated audience of about 200 or so people that will watch any video I post. And that's about the audience of a comically long review, around 200 or so people. So I highly doubt that these videos are going to lose all that many viewers, seeing as they were basically my diehards anyway. This isn't anywhere near reviewing an episode of Dino Fury a week late, which would probably cost me around five or six hundred views. I do want to officially apologize to anyone who has been following these comics strictly via my reviews, but I do have to acknowledge whatever minor impact I might be having on the bottom line of these books. Whether you can afford to purchase the books or not, if you're following them strictly via my reviews, you're not purchasing them. I never intended to take sales away from these books. I always just wanted to review them. So, Radiant Black number two and Trials of Ultraman number one will be reviewed sometime around April 21st or 22nd. Power Rangers number five will be reviewed sometime around April 28th or 29th. And Power Rangers Air to Darkness will be reviewed in the first week of May. Yes, I am also doing this one month delay for graphic novels. There's no next issue to wait for, but I still think one month is a pretty nice respectful buffer. But it sure does suck that you folks are going to have to wait an entire month to see me reviewing comic books again. Or it would! <laughs> I would never ask that of my dedicated audience. The delay that's going to make a comically long review feel a little bit more morally justifiable is going to be compensated for by a blast from the past. I'm going to try, I will not promise, but I'm going to try to do three Blast from the Past videos reviewing the Hamilton Power Rangers comics before a comically long review resumes in April. I wanted to toss a little clip in while I was editing this video with a little last minute update on the situation. I mentioned in this video that it was the folks at Image Comics with Radiant Black that made the requests that kind of started me on this path of rethinking how I do my comic reviews. Right after I finished filming this video, the folks at Radiant Black actually got in touch with me again and told me that at this point they feel totally comfortable with me reviewing the book. However, I would like to review it. They're going to be fine. Those were their words. Now, you can assume that this is either because the book is doing really well and they're happy about that. I will say that the person who contacted me said they had been quite busy over the past couple of days, hence a delay in getting back to me, but that was probably a good kind of busy. And or they realized that my comic reviews might not be as big as they thought they were and it wasn't going to have that much impact on the book anyway. But either way, they were officially dropping even the request they had made of the method with which I review these comics. I will say that I am still going to put this one month delay that I described in this video into place. I feel like it's the most fair and right thing to do for the entire situation. Not just with Image Comics and Radiant Black, but with Boom Studios for the Power Rangers comics, for Marvel with the Ultraman comics, and for whatever other books that I'm going to do. So that's how I'm going to do that going forward. But I felt it was only fair to try to get that information about what Image said and how they dropped their requests into this video. So there you go. So uh that's um so that there that's um that's that's it. That's really all I had to say. That's what's going on with a comically long review. Thank you all for your patience. Look forward to the reviews and until next time, may the power protect you.
Again, I, I again, and she's banging on the thing and you're wandering around the room. I picked a really good time to make a video. This is a positive force for change from Radiant Black. Oh, shoot. I was completely home blank. For the record, they have continued to do them. I tend to, I fart, yeah. Forgive me, that's a new cutaway gag that I downloaded to do a dance with. I love a parade. This is especially important if any of the companies of books post. Clearly not, I actually... No, actually, gosh dang it. That is fair use, and I screwed this take up yet again. So, are you folks gonna have to wait an entire year to see my take of the... the, the the other thing I said, Power Rangers number five. 